There's a number of YouTube channels with over a million subscribers, engineering channels, guys who say that they're engineers and they're geniuses, they're experts, they'll tell you everything you need to know. They'll prove that Tesla's Roadster idea. Now, this is the concept that the Roadster could potentially do about one second from zero to 62 miles an hour. In fact, they claim for 1.2 seconds. They claim that Tesla is lying to you. The Roadster is fake. It's actually an engineering reality that it's impossible. Is it really impossible for a vehicle, a car, an electric car or any car for that matter, a production car to do zero to 62 miles an hour in only one second? Well, YouTube would tell you no. And these guys, they pull their maths on a, on a whiteboard and they have all these equations showing you just how genius they are and tell you that it's impossible. But actually, they've all been proven false. In fact, I've been saying for a long time that all that stuff was just YouTube geniuses telling you something to get you to believe that actually Tesla was lying to you. Actually, they weren't. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching the Electric Viking. Electric cars. I'm not just talking Teslas here. Electric cars have the capacity to go much, much faster than internal combustion vehicles. We already know that. I mean, the world's fastest vehicles right now are not gasoline. This is the early days of electrification. Imagine what we will be in 10 to 20 years. But the rematch Navira is already the fastest production car in the world by a long shot. I mean, it can do 0 to 62 miles an hour in what about 1.7 seconds? That's not with a rollout, by the way. Quarter mile of about 8.6 seconds. Not with a rollout, by the way. Those numbers have been verified. That's very fast. But it's nothing in comparison to what this electric car just did. In fact, if you really believe these claims on YouTube, then I've got news. An electric car just did less than one second from zero to 62 miles an hour without a rollout. Hang on a minute, this isn't possible, they say. The naysayers said it couldn't be done. Well, the problem is, don't understand the very fundamental difference between electric cars and internal combustion. And I think their mathematics might have been a little bit flawed as a result. Now, the irony about all of this is that a team of students have debunked these engineering geniuses. In fact, a team of students from Zurich and Lucerne University of Applied Sciences in Swiss or Switzerland just set a new acceleration record for electric cars. Their hand-built electric race car called the Mythen went zero to 100 kilometers an hour, zero to 62.15 miles an hour to be exact, in 0 0.956 seconds. So less than a second. This couldn't be done, they all said. I'm still finding it hard to believe anyone takes these guys seriously. I mean, doesn't matter how many sums you put on a whiteboard. If you're proven wrong, you're proven wrong. ETH Zurich reports that Guinness World Records, uh, yeah, it's legit if Guinness has confirmed it, has confirmed that the Mythen broke the previous world acceleration record for electric vehicles, setting a staggering standard for anyone else wanting to break this record again. The previous record was held by a team called For De Vireen Green Team Uni Stuttgart EV. I'm sure I didn't pronounce that correctly, but anyway, which designed an EV that reached 100 kilometers an hour, 62 miles an hour from standstill in 1.461 seconds on the 23rd of September, 2022. So almost exactly one year ago, that time was set, 1.46. Now these guys have gone half a second faster without using a rocket. You've probably seen the Rocket EV. It's got an electric motor, staggeringly fast, but it has a massive kind of rocket electric fan. And the fan provides an insane amount of downforce, which enables the car to do incredible speeds. But this one here doesn't have a rocket, didn't need it. This electric car weighs an incredible 140 kilos or 309 pounds. And that's thanks to the use of carbon fiber and aluminum honeycomb structures. Each wheel houses its own motor for a total system power output of 326 horsepower. That's 243 kilowatt. I mean, it's not a lot of power, but if you think about it, right, this is one of the highest power to weight ratios in the history of a car. 140 kilogram car with 243 kilowatt or 326 horsepower. And that's nearly three to one. 
That's ridiculous. This may be the highest horsepower to weight ratio for a car in the history of mankind. Now, I don't know for certain what that those numbers are, but it can't be too far off, right? This might sound like a low figure, but of course, because it's so light, the power figure is actually staggering. But the problem here is putting all that power to the ground. Only through the use of a system that literally sucks the car to the ground could the team find the traction needed to go that fast that quickly. So how exactly did they do it? The group's leader made it clear that this isn't the single focus of the team, by the way. They're actually all going to normal school classes, and this was just like a fun hobby project. So imagine when a big company takes this really seriously. Imagine what they could do. They said this, Working on the project in addition to our studies was very intense, but even so, it was a lot of fun working with other students to continually produce new solutions and put into practice what we learned in class. It's like a joke to them. Amazing. And of course, it's an absolutely unique experience to be involved in breaking the world record. This is the third time this team has achieved the world record. It actually did so in 2014, and then again, it broke the, its own record in 2016. Last year, another team from Germany took the record with that time of 1.46. This time, they've broken it by such a margin that I struggle to understand how you can go any faster than this. I mean, 0.95 seconds. How is that even possible? Well, you know, I don't know. But this is an interesting idea, right? Elon Musk recently attended a Formula One race. And he went to the bosses of Formula One. He said, you know what? I've got an idea here. This would sell really well. Let's do a race. Electric Formula One versus internal combustion Formula One. Then we can see what's really faster. We can see what would be, this would be exciting for the crowd. Guess what? So far, Formula One, they don't want to know about it. They're not interested. I reckon there's a pretty good reason why. This is it. Electric cars are just so much faster than internal combustion. At some point in the future, I can kind of picture going to a Formula One race, it'll all be electric, and the hard part will be trying to actually see the cars as they go past. They'll be going so fast, it'll be hard to actually even see them. Imagine the reaction time speeds that would be needed then. The future, my friends, is electric and it's damn fast. And unfortunately, the people who made these videos, which have had millions of views claiming that Tesla's claims about a roadster's performance, which by the way is significantly slower than this at 1.2 seconds, turned out to be categorically wrong. Thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments.